We need to allow faith to drive in our life. The Lord said, let faith drive. He said, let faith drive. That means that we have not been letting faith drive in our life. We have not been letting go and letting God. We have been trying to take things over with our own strength, with our own abilities. But God says, let faith drive. This reminds me of when I had a dream and in the dream, I remember seeing a car seat in the back seat and a, a male white hand hovered over this car seat and I was sitting in the passenger seat and when I woke up, I did not see who was driving the car. When I asked the Holy Spirit, who was driving the car? He said, my daughter, I drive the car of your life, of your spouse, of your children, I drive the car of your destiny, of your business, of your finances, I drive the car. The Holy Spirit will forever drive the car so long as you allow him in the driver's seat of your life. Let faith drive. What does it mean to let faith drive? We are choosing to lean on God, to lean on the faith we have in Jesus. We are allowing God to take full control and full authority of our lives. We are not trying to control things with our own ability. And the Lord then brings me to Psalm chapter 42, verse 1. And on, it says, A deer longs for streams of water. God, I long for you in that same way. When an animal is looking for water, thirsty, even us, when we are looking for water, when we are thirsty, we are desperate to get that water. We are desperate for that hydration. Verse 2 said, I am thirsty for God. In Jesus' mighty name, you will be thirsty for God. You will be thirsty for God and the things of God. It says it right here, I am thirsty for the living God. Because yes, there are little G gods out there. But are you serving the living God, Jesus Christ? Are you serving the one and only true God, Jesus Christ? The Lord says it right here. Psalm chapter 42, verse 3. My tears have been my food day and night. And it's true. Many of us have cried. Many of us have cried and wailed to God. Has Have complained to God. And that is our food day and night. The fact that we lean on God with our own heart, whole heart. Lean on God. Take it to Jesus. Let him have his way. Let him take forward. Let him push you through. Let him have his way in your life. Let him make you victorious. Let him make you victorious. He said, let faith drive. Let faith drive. What are you, look around your life, are you trying to control in your life? What are you trying to take authority over in your life? But you're using your own strength. You're not leaning on the faith that you have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. I don't know the song, but I have faith in him. <laughs> he is a good God. He is a good God. And I know a lot of us are not going to watch this at the same time. But when you watch this, when you encounter this video, it's because that is the time when God had planned for you to encounter this video. You are God's own. You are God's child. You are his. You belong to him. He wants you. He loves you. And all he asks is that you lean on him and not your own understanding. Let him explain the word of God to you. Let him describe the word of God to you. Do not be deceived. The enemy is still on and about looking for who he can devour. And that person will not be you in the name of Jesus. He will not devour you. He will not devour your loved ones. He will not devour anything near you, anything that is around you, anything concerning you is covered in the blood of Jesus. God bless you as you obey in Jesus glorious mighty name. Pray. Amen.